First question is from Dust Reed. What is the best way to prime your legs before performing leg workouts? Mm. Okay, so um, so here's the the here are the benefits of priming, or why priming is so much better than just warming up. So a warm up aims to prevent injury by you know getting your muscles warm and getting your your heart rate up a little bit. This is what the actual personal training certification courses would actually say about a warm up. So the goal is to kind of you know reduce risk of injury, and studies support that proper warming up uh, might actually do that a little bit. Now priming is different because priming is much more targeted, and the goal of priming is to improve your performance. Uh, the very least that you'll get is reduced risk of injury, but priming goes above and beyond that because it improves performance. And what you're doing with priming is you're trying to turn muscles on so they fire better. Mm. Um, and this is here's the part that's important, specific from person to person. So mm-hmm. I'll give you a couple examples of what I mean. Let's say you have ankle mobility issues. So when you squat and you go down low, your feet cave in or your heels want to come up or you bend way far forward because your ankles just you, – it's, it's like if you elevate your heels, you could squat better. You might be one of those people, right? You could put like a, a two-by-four or – a couple of plates under your heels, and all of a sudden you you feel like you could squat better. Mm-hmm. That person would prime their ankles with uh, like a combat stretch is a great one. You can find that on our YouTube channel. This the way you would prime that is you get into this stretch position, but then when you're there, you're activating the muscles that maintain that position. You're trying to you're trying to connect to that new range of motion. For that person, that would improve their squat. But let's say you're another person, you've got good ankle mobility, but you have forward shoulder. So when you squat, your shoulders want to round forward, which you know compromises your form. Well, that person would prime differently. Mm-hmm. They would do like a band row um, to, to activate the mid-back muscle so that they could maintain better posture uh, you know, throughout the whole squat. Well, I think that's the best way to kind of use a priming is really to be able to set your body and stack your, your, your spine and everything so, you're, uh, so that way your posture is set up correctly so that way your joints don't take you know, a, a lot of the brunt of the force uh, and, and, and create problems for yourself. And so you know, even for me as an example, like I, I tend to uh, take a rubber band and I'll do a lot of internal rotation with my knees so that way because I notice a lot of external rotation coming out and my muscles are tight and pulling me outwardly. So to be able to then prime ahead of time and kind of get that uh, to stabilize properly and track properly with my knee, it really helps a lot to prevent pain and discomfort later. Well, and to continue down the path that Sal was going, if you're somebody who squats and you don't ever feel it in your butt or your hamstrings, that's something that you would prime before. That's why priming is so individualized. There is no one size fits all or everybody should prime these exercises before doing this movement or these these working these muscles, it has everything to do with where your breakdown is or your where you're lacking the most, right? And that's the I this was the idea of when we created Maps Prime was Maps Prime is designed to take you through a basic assessment that it that takes care of looking at the entire body from head to toe. And where you have breakdown are areas that you should be priming. Even if you're doing legs, like Sal was saying, you may be priming upper body. If you if your limiting factor of performing a good squat is because you have such rounded forward shoulders that you're you're excessively leaning over in a squat, filling it all in your quads and your knees or filling it in your low back because you're leaning over so much, then a lot of your priming, even for leg day, is actually upper body type stuff. So but the idea is that you figure this out, like, and and if you haven't gone to Doug, what's the what was Justin's Prime webinar? What's the what's the link for that? MapsPrimeWebinar.com. So MapsPrimeWebinar.com. Go to that URL. It's free. Watch that, and and go through that process with him. And then if if and if you're somebody who knows that you need this or want this, that's why we created that program. Yeah. Now I'll, I'll give you some general. Now that we've made the case that it needs to be individualized, I'll give you some general priming movements that seem to work with a lot of people for squats. So this might not be you, uh, but it, this works for a lot of people, right? So 90-90 uh, is a, typically a decent primer for most people for squatting. Now, again, you're not holding a stretch when you prime. In 90-90, you're not just trying to get a stretch. What you're trying to do is you're getting in position, and then you're trying to activate the muscles and lift the back leg up or lift the front leg up. So you got to actually activate. That's what priming is. So 90-90 Combat stretch is a good one. Um, handcuffs with rotation might be a good one for the upper back or some mm-hmm. kind of a band row uh, for, for the posture of the upper back. Those are generally, those three 
are generally the 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 better ones for for you know most people I would say. So you can look into those if you don't want to go th- and test yourself, which I think is dumb. You should go through a test. But if you're like, nah, I just want to try these movements and see what happens. 90-90 combat stretch, handcuff with rotation. Uh, you know, those three, generally speaking, are good for a lot of people. 